Welcome to The Mischief. I'm Valen, and this is Lost in Bardo, brought to you by Backyard Team, a newer company that uh, has put forth a really nice effort on this point-and-click adventure. Now, usually point-and-click adventures it are not something that I am very fond of, but in this case I'll make an exception. Um, it, its art style is beautiful, as you can see here. Uh, you know, you've the, with the uh, kind of pixelated graphics or, or something, and it has a little bit of a throwback. You, you can see a few books in the background, Frank Herbert Dune, Stephen King, The Dark Tower, Tibetan Book of the Dead, Max Frey, Labyrinth of Monin. <laughs> Lots of fun. But um, I'm going to be playing through this. That's scary, all right. <laughs> and uh, showing you guys a bit of a demo. Now, this is only a demo. It's due to release at the end of 2017, but you should at least get an idea of what this game's about so that you can judge for yourself if you're interested in it. Bardo is a Tibetan word that means a transition or finding yourself between the end of one situation and the beginning of another. Chapter 1. Lost Again. Chewy, we're home. Hmm, why do I remember that? Probably because I'm starving. And here we have our little menu down below of items that we collect. We've got our character here, which we really don't know what her name is, but uh, apparently she knows somebody named Chewy. So we're going to perhaps take a little look around and just see... Oh, there's a nice little kitchen here. Not a soul in sight. Very nice and light music. You've got your the rest of the kitchen here. Your boiling pot. Hmm, I wonder where is everyone? Hey, what's taking so long? Where's the soup for the Marquis? Who are you? And where is our chief cook? Anyhow, I need the soup. And be quick about it. All right, all right. Got it. Soup for the Marquis. I forgot to ask what kind of soup he wants. Ugh. As usual, before you know it, you have to do someone else's work. Well, I guess... Real quick, we should see if we can get that guy's attention again and... At the very least, ask what kind of soup. You again, is the soup ready? De Marquis is very hungry. Excuse me, could you please at least give me the soup recipe? I'm not exactly a cook. What? Did the chef not teach you anything? Even I know how to make egg soup. Let me remember, hmm, it goes like this. Boil water, one egg, one carrot, one onion, and most importantly, no spices. Here, take this recipe. <laughs> remember, no spices. De Marquis has the most severe allergy to spices in the whole region. Knock softly. Hmm, interesting. All right. Egg soup recipe. Egg, onion, carrot. Boil everything for some time. Do not use hot spices. Fair enough. I'm guessing we use this big cauldron. And we get some recipe and we get some... Oh, look, chili peppers. <laughs> hot as hell. Hmm. hmm. We have no idea where we are right now. The... Wait, why is this one plate bigger? Looks like this plate is newer than the rest. Probably because it's not as dusty. Someone definitely takes better care of this place. Hmm. Interesting. So I can continue on. I, th I think... I think I want to go see if there's anybody else that we can talk to. Perhaps we... Wait a minute. Where's my bedroom? Definitely uh, don't remember this. Ugh. I got lost again. Alright, well, there's lots of things to look at. I'm not going to be looking at everything in this playthrough, but we are going to be taking a look at some of this stuff. There's a grilled door. There's an iron key, but hey, there's the chef. Or the cook. Excuse me. Yeah, that's not going to work. All right, well, let's try talking to this guy. Excuse me, are you in charge here? And not only here in the cellar, too. I'm the keeper of the Marquis' wine. Are you sure that keeping it is what you're doing here? Absolutely. I also it <laughs> from time to time if it's still good. Hmm, do you know where the exit is? I think I'm lost. What do you mean? There's an exit out of here? <laughs> nice. Okay, so this guy drinks the Marquis' wine, and he's supposed to guard things, I guess. Um, he looks like he's asleep, or maybe not. And this guy? He is sleeping, if this state can be called sleep. <laughs> he seems to be sitting up at the table asleep. There's a bottle of wine called Have Execution. Interesting. Really shouldn't touch this bottle. The chef brought it here. He's always up to no good. 
Ha! Huh, looks like you're the best buddies. Look at you sitting there enjoying life. Buddies? Phew, take a gander at his ugly mug. He's the devil incarnate, I tell you. Been snoring like a pig in the sun since he came here. Also, that scary bottle with him. I don't even want to touch it. I see. Okay. Well, we could take a peek into the cellar. Maybe grab this key. Hey, what you doing there, ba? <laughs> I'm just looking around. There, where? Does he have eyes in the back of his head or something? All right. Well, that, that doesn't seem to be being very productive. We can't seem to wake the chef, so let's go try and make some egg soup, I guess. Um, no chili. And they're bottles. Okay. Uh, well, let's see what we can find. Can I put on the apron? No. No, I can't put the apron on. But there are some notes up here as well. Let's check these out real quick. The plum. Boiling the plum results in exactly the same color as in the ancient manuscript. Okay. Experiments on Willard's sleeping draft caused an unforeseen side effect. Beetroot now upsets his stomach. Willard's sleeping draft. Wasn't that the, the guard guy that was downstairs? So the chef has used a sleeping draft on him before? Hmm. If you use hot spices together with fish, Demarkey does not have an allergic reaction to them. I guess fish has magical properties that need to be studied further. <laughs> okay. Eggs collected. Chiquita. March... 90, April, 111, May, 120, June, 40. Eight grain mixed with ground pepper. July. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Looks like one teaspoon of the Av Execution sleeping draft is not enough. Oh, that was the bottle that he was drinking down there. Even a glass of it is not enough. I drank half a bottle. Still no effect. I have to try it on Willard. Oh, whoops. He tested it on himself and it apparently had a delayed reaction. Nice. Well, there's a little painting over here. Let's check this out. Maybe it has some clue as to what's going on. It's a painting of a hearth. Let's have a look. Ha! I knew it. Secrets. Ooh. Locked with a key. Hmm. I wonder if it's the key downstairs or if that's to the gate for that jail cell thing. Oh, hey, onions. And grains of wheat. I don't think I need those. Carrot. No, I'll grab one anyway. I've got multiple pages, I think, down here once I uh, fill it up, if I fill it up. Um, I can't, I can't open that. It's some kind of a secret door and it's locked. I wonder what could be hidden in there. Me too. Um, well, in the meantime, is there anything else I can grab from in here? I don't think so. Just these notes. I've got wheat, carrot, onion. Well, let, let's head this way for now. I can't seem to hover over everything, but I can hover over some things. Uh... I'll grab an empty bottle. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to grab a chili pepper for now anyway. So I need an egg. There was no eggs in there. There's pots. Old frying pan. Looks like it's made of cast iron. I think it's frying days are long gone. All right, same thing. Um, but there's a chicken named Chiquita, a white hen. Why should I do that? <laughs> it's a cute little hen. Young and ready to become a mom. Okay. Wait, grains. He fed it grains with chili before. And it did very poorly. So what if I get more grains here? Can I combine stuff? Ha! Yes, can I? Well, not everything combines, but some things do. Alright, well I've got some more grains, and I've got some peppered wheat as well. So let's see if Chiquita wants some grains. Here you go. Chuck, chuck. Eat these seeds, my little chick. <laughs> peck, 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 peck. Boink. Ooh. Give me the egg. Good girl. Give me the egg. Come on. Give me. Why are you shaking your head? No, it doesn't let me. <laughs> okay, it's a chicken. Pick it up. Right, fine. Okay, take the this stuff. Chuck, chuck. Try these little pink candies. <laughs> pink candies. Park. <laughs> oh. I grabbed the egg. Gotcha. <laughs> Very nice. And this is a barrel of beets. I don't think I can do anything with that yet. Well, let, let's try adding things. Flush handle. Great, now I can cook again. Oh, okay, so that resets recipes in the pot. This is good. Take an onion. I haven't cooked anything for a while. A carrot. An egg. Egg soup, yum yum. I wonder if that was actually the recipe. Egg, onion, carrot, 
Boil everything. Do not use spices. Hmm. Do I put it in a bottle? No. One of the dishes? No. There's a cupboard. Okay. Oh, there's bowls over here. No, I can't do anything. I can grab plates. There we go. Oh, there's plates over here. Psh. Okay, any more plates would be overkill. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. <laughs> Let's grab one of those. Egg soup. Um, so I think mission accomplished. This is going well. Mr. Butler guy. Well, is the soup ready yet? Here. At last. Bon appetit. Wait, that's it? Can I... Can I... Please, sir, could you let me see the Marquis? You see, I'm actually not a cook. I got here by accident. Maybe he can help me. You are surely joking. I don't have time to listen to this balderdash. <laughs> so go on and make more of that soup. The Marquis is still hungry. And don't forget about the spices. Now I'm in trouble. Yeah, you don't want spices, huh? I'll give you some spices. Let's... Yeah. Oh, I think the soup is a success. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's just... Knock. It's got, like, this little reddish tinge to it now. Is the soup ready yet? Sir, I'm not a cook, honest. I don't care. <laughs> Take this, then. Marvelous! <laughs> the soup looks suspicious and smells... Are you sure there's no spices in it? Sure, I just used carrots from the other basket. Seasonal ones. <laughs> I like her. Hmm, all right. Yep. So, that's it? Nothing? Can I put the, the plate back? No? No? Doesn't let me put the plate back. All right, well. Oh! Ooh! <laughs> what was that? An earthquake? Oh, the chicken! The chicken! Get back your chicken! No, no, Chiquita! Oh, don't leave me all alone here! Poor chicken, and it broke the plate. I'm in so much trouble. Hey, you there! Uh oh. Let's go find out what, he, what he's gonna yell at me about. Was that an earthquake? Not an earthquake, an allergy! We had a bad crop of carrots this year, it seems. Hmm. Marquis is upset. He wants Chef's specialty dish. But I barely managed to make egg soup. <laughs> All right, give me the recipe. Only the chef knows this recipe. Do whatever you want, but I need that dish. Why should I help you at all? Oh, I guess I don't have a choice. Okay, yeah. Oh, beets. They're beets. Okay. And... I'm, I'm grabbing some more peppers. <laughs> oh, there's a key. A key curses... Now finding that door is going to be a pain in the wood patoot. No, it's not, because I've already found it. Let's take this bronze key, put it in the door. Aha! There is something top secret behind it. Secrets. What do we got? A scroll. There are stains all over it. Receptus Maxime. <laughs> Equisentio. <laughs> nice. Okay, so special recipe. Um, let's wait. Let's see what it is. Is that wine? Or do you think that's beet juice in 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 there? I don't know. Right, hold on a second. Let Let's look at the rest of it. There's smudgies for ingredients, I think. So I'm guessing this is onions. This is carrots. I don't think grains is part of it. Grains, I think, is for the chicken. Okay, so... Let's go down here. And I'm gonna have to flush out the old egg soup. Let's try the... beetroot. Can I take... It looks like a real bottle of wine! Oh! Oh, hey! That gives me an idea. I'm going to flush this out. I'm going to go downstairs. Hey, you know what? I'm going to grab another bottle of wine. Because I saw a wine cellar down there. So. Empty, empty, empty. Marked with a white X symbol. Can I... Can't empty something empty. It doesn't work like that. All right, fine. Oh, it does work. Hey. Get myself a bottle of the good stuff. Let's take a look here. 
I'd have to say if I compare the colors, it looks like it's wine and not beet juice. I'm curious. <laughs> I'd rather not bother him. Looks like he's asleep. Or maybe not. Now last time... Hmm. There's something I'm missing on here. And that's a fish, it looks like. A peppered fish. Hot spicy fish. Okay, so... Maybe I can give this guy some wine. I think this wine is tainted. Hey, give me, I'll have a taste. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Enjoy. <laughs> wow, he drank the whole thing. That's not a taste. Phew! False alarm. So wait, are you like... Are you drunk now and passed out? Hey, hey, what you doing there? Bah! Oh. Okay, maybe not. I'm just... Oh, the chicken! I'm just looking around. Okay. All right, I've got another idea. Does he have eyes in the back of his head? Chicken! Chiquita is hiding in the car, and I don't know why there's a car up here. This is really strange. All right, fine. Let's give him this. This one obviously is tainted. Ahem. I found a bottle of very rare wine in your cellar. According to the label, it's from a far land. What wine? Hic Impeccable flavor with floral notes. Such a unique taste. Hic gulp. And, oh my, the aftertaste is... Yes, yes, tell me. Mmm, tasty. May I keep it? No way, one does not simply come and take his kind of wine. Go. Okay. Here you go. Enjoy your boiled beet juice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know where he's going. Hey, where's my thank you? <laughs> Either way, the key is mine. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> All right. Key on door. It works. Okay, let's go through. Ah, oh, it's so cold in here. Well, it's probably, it's the cellar. So it's a, a cold store. Fish. I have fish. Is there anything else in here? No. There is a, a grate. And the ladder. This looks very old and flimsy. And this, it's locked. Okay, fine. I, get, I got my fish. And the chef is still snoring away. Let, let's just head upstairs and we'll go make our our sleeping chef specialty dish. And we're not going to bother cleaning this up because that's not my stuff. Wait, what? Looks like this plate is newer than the rest. Probably because it's not as dusty. Someone definitely takes better care of this place, <laughs> even though it's broken on the floor. <laughs> All right, so what was the recipe here? It's wine, onion, carrot, right? So... Oh, I didn't get the wine. I need to get another bottle of wine. I forgot. Because I gave that first bottle of wine to uh, Doofus Guard Willard there. There we go. Put that down. Head back upstairs. I've got a plate. I don't know if I'm going to need the plate or not. But either way, let's head over here. Take the bottle of wine. I haven't cooked anything in a while. Like a couple minutes ago, maybe. But they don't. What is, what's, what's next? Onion. Okay. We're following the recipe here. Onion. Then carrot. Carrot. Then spicy fish. Uh, ha ha ha. Yes, you can combine it. Spicy fish into pot. In my opinion, it turned out very nice. Excellent. Take a plate. Mmm, beautiful. Oh, yeah, look at that. It's got a little fish sitting in there. Let's knock on the door. Give me the stuff. Is the chef specialty ready? Here. Excellent, brilliant. It's exactly how it should look. Of course it is. So our chef did spill the beans, eh? Um, no, there's no beans in there. No, I, uh... Anyway, the specialty dish requires special wine. The one from the wine cellar will not do. It is for guests only. We need the wine from the special preserve, a very special brand. The wine is in the warehouse, but it is locked. Really? How intriguing. Unfortunately, I will have to risk it and temporarily trust you with the key to the warehouse. But promise me that you will return the key along with the wine. Sure thing. Okie dokie. Grab the key. Down in the basement. We're going to go unlock the second gated gate door in in the cellar. I don't know where Willard went. Because I, I still don't see any other doors he could have gone through unless he went through the butler door. But I guess he's a guard, so he should be able to. Yeah. Anyway, let's go through, walk down. Looks very old and flimsy. 
and his ladder is too wobbly. If I fall down, all the king's men won't put me together again. <laughs> all right, here goes nothing. Is she Humpty Dumpty here? Careful. That ladder looks like crap. Ah, well, you didn't even use the ladder. What are you doing? Oh. Hopefully it wasn't too far down. I, I couldn't exactly see the bottom. Oh, wow, that looks like she fell quite a distance, actually. They're like little motes of dust and... Jeez, it's so cold in here. What is this place? It's kind of forming up in the background. I don't like this place. Oh, Please let me out of here. She looks so confused. I'm scared. It's alright. Oh, all my stuff's gone. Alright, well. Pile of stones. Seems like I can climb the stones to the top. Okay. Take it easy now. You had a nasty fall. Hey, there you go. Phew. Alright, let's... Is there anything else of note in here? Just the pile of stones. And the exit. Well, let's go through the exit. Ruins. Finally! Light! Alright, this... I'm so lucky that the exit is not blocked up. I could have been buried alive in these ruins. Yeah, um... There was before a table here. No. No, there wasn't. This went into the kitchen. This is... This is the kitchen. Because here's the cauldron. Rusty boiler. This cauldron reminds me of something. Yeah, this was the old place. It's been, like, demolished. But this... Is that... This was the little... The pre-cellar area before. Hmm. This cauldron reminds me of something. Yeah. Well, either way, we can go through now. Sooner or later, all doors will open. <laughs> Looks like much later. Fire! Ah, yes, warm up. It's so nice to feel warmth in my hands again. She seems to be doing quite well, considering it's so snowy. She did say it was cold. The backpack looks heavy. Oh, someone left their stuff here. Oh, hey, there's a dude. Oh my god! Oh, come on, are you kidding me? <laughs> Who are you? You're Sam, right? I mean, who else can you be? Sam, I can't believe it. He seemed very put offish at first. So I was right. Damn, guys, you see this? I'm really glad that people are so happy to see me. But I don't know. I I don't think I know you or these guys. By the way, where are they? Are they hiding somewhere in the ruins? Are you some sort of bandits? No one's hiding anywhere. And relax, we're not bandits. He doesn't exactly look like a bandit, but I don't know what one looks like. My name is Flan. <laughs> I'm one of the last people on Earth. Wait, what? What do you mean, one of the last people? Is this the name of, of your cult? Flan is a dish, as far as I know. Ha <laughs> ha, well, almost. <laughs> Listen, Sam, we have a camp nearby. I can introduce you to the rest of the gang and answer all your questions. If we leave now, we'll catch reach the camp by morning. Are you coming? So wait, you were just calling to them a moment ago. Yep. But they're, like, a, a half a day's walk away. Well, this is the end of the demo here, folks. You can get this, uh, the demo, for yourselves. Try it out on Steam, see if you like it. And there you go. Lost in Bardo. If you guys enjoyed this little mischief musing, please be sure to give a like. Feel free to comment below or subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to spread the mischief to others. If you think they'll enjoy this content, mischief, lost in Bardo, too. Until next time, folks, I'll see ya.